What's up guys? In this video, I'll show you how to get started with OBS and Touch Portal. Touch Portal needs a WebSocket plugin to be able to connect with OBS. The link to our website and a direct link to the WebSocket plugin are all in the description down below. We're going to install that first. Open the link OBS WebSocket plugin from the description below. Download the latest version of the WebSocket plugin and install. When that is finished, run OBS. Make sure the WebSocket plugin is available in the Tools section of OBS. If it is not, manually install the plugin. The instructions how to manually install the plugin are also in the GitHub page. Now we're going to create some buttons in Touch Portal to switch between scenes. We also want a button to show whether that scene is active or not. On my OBS you see that I have 4 scenes. Let's create the buttons for these scenes. Open Touch Portal. Click on the button you want to edit. Go to the category OBS. Let's add a set scene action. This action will set the scene in OBS when it is executed from Touch Portal. Choose the first scene you want to work with. In our case it's the starting soon scene. Give the button a name. I want the title of the button to be aligned at the bottom. Let's add an icon. Go down to button image and click change icon and choose from icon packs. This is our streaming icon pack. You can find the link for this icon pack in the description below. Let's use this icon. Click on the icon and click add. Now you see we have an icon, a title and the title is aligned at the bottom. We want a button to change its visuals when in OBS the scene changes to our selected scene. To do that, we have a tab here that says On the Event. Click on that. The Events tab can be used to connect events to your button. Events can happen at any time and are not linked to your pressing a button. In this case, we want to listen to the event that happens when in OBS the active scene is switched to our selected one. Next. Go to the OBS category and scroll down until you find the event. Choose the on scene switched event. Now we have our event listener that activates when the OBS scene changes to our selected scene. In our case, we need to change this to when OBS active scene is changed to starting soon. Next, add the same event but change that to when OBS active scene is not changed to starting soon scene. This will trigger whenever a scene change occurs in OBS and it is not our selected scene. We have set up the event listeners but we have not yet told it to do something when it gets triggered. To change the visual of this button, navigate to the visual category and change button visuals. We want to change the icon of this button when the active scene is the starting soon scene. This icon is perfect for that. Click the icon and click add and click add again. Let's drag this action to the top. Copy this action and paste it. Then drag this action to the second event. Now we will choose an icon that represents the button when the scene is not active. Let's finish this button. We now have a scene button. Let's copy this button and paste it three times to save us some time with creating buttons for the other scenes. Remember to change the scene names in the actions and events. Also change the text for the buttons to let them represent the correct scenes. Let's finish this and let's press some scene change buttons. Pressing the scene buttons or changing the scenes in OBS and become active and inactive automatically when the scene changes in OBS. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and until the next video, enjoy touch more. Change button visuals. Change button visuals. Change but change button visuals. Go back. Go back. Go. Okay. Visuals check.